All right, here we go. It's eating with Sasquatch. I am the Sasquatch, and today we got from Premier Sauces. This is their zombie reindeer. Um, let me see if I can get it up there where you guys can really get a look at the. Uh, it's a. It's kind of a dark label, um, so hopefully you guys can see that. Give me a little pepper gas. I just did a pepper review, so. <laughs> Um, this zombie reindeer uh, says it's a winner of the 2017 Fiery Food Challenge uh, at www.zestfest.net. So uh, they must have got an award at Zestfest. I did not make it to the 2017 Zestfest Award, so I did not see that. But um, definitely have heard a lot of good things about these sauces. Definitely excited to check them out finally. Um, I actually just met with the owners. Over the last weekend in Chicago, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I've met up with them before. I met up with them at Chicago when I was up there for the uh, uh, Chicago Hot Sauce Expo uh, back a few months ago, and really been excited to, to finally get a chance to try their sauce. So um, they don't send their sauces out to very many reviewers, so I feel kind of honored that they they gave me some. And they actually let me show you sent me a whole uh, handmade carrying case. That is really cool. So this will actually probably become part of my uh, background after uh, it's all said and done because I really like that. I think that's awesome. Um, so again, thank you Robert for that. That was very cool, Robert Barlitz. Uh So anyways, you know, I'm excited to try this one. I, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Uh, I don't see any tearaway on this, which is odd. I figured they. Oh, I remember. He he told me there's a little trick to uh, opening these where you can kind of go around with your fingernail and leave the sleeve on. I don't like to leave the sleeve on. Um, I like to be able to when I'm doing my reviews. I like to be able to show just the. Uh, way it looks like it's rolling around in the bottle and this one actually seems like it's got some nice uh there's some seeds and some some different textures and things going on in there it looks like little maybe chunks of peppers and some actual pepper in there it's kind of interesting so it says premier sauces at premier sauces we use our own homegrown peppers and all natural ingredients with no artificial flavors colors or thickeners www.premiersauces.com. I will put a link in the description for them as well. Almost started looking at the ingredients there. And I actually kind of did see that there's tomatoes in there, which is fine. Um, you know, I, I don't like looking at the ingredients to, uh, because I don't, I'm sorry, I had a little bit of runny nose still from the uh, pepper review I just did. Let me see if I can blow my nose a little bit. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so the one thing I do know is this one is not supposed to be hot. So this is going to be a table sauce. It's going to be a family friendly sauce. So the fact that I'm burning up from a uh, <laughs> pepper review that I just did should make no effect on anything as far as uh, the uh, heat level on this. Um, the in those of you that think that maybe because my heat level is up, I can't taste things and whatnot. That's not true as well either. I uh, I definitely have a, sometimes when I'm burning up real good, I have kind of a heightened sense of smell and uh, taste. So, ooh, that's interesting. So I do smell the tomatoes. It, I do definitely smell the tomatoes right off the bat. Um, I want to say onion. That, that actually smells really good. Um, I'm not a big tomato soup fan, but this really uh, the smell of tomato soup actually is something I really enjoy. I don't like the taste of it too well for some reason. I don't, I don't know why, but the smell of it really, I do enjoy. And it does have a, a tomato soup kind of smell to it, but it's, there's more to it. There's the onions and there's, there's some spices there that I can't quite make out. Man, I'm going to have to taste it. Oh, well, first I'm going to put it on a spoon and get a smell of it and see what it, if it changes from the time that it gets on there. Let's look at the core real quick. 
nice pour, um, nice consistency. Um, doesn't look like it has, there's not much grit and texture to it. It's, it's a smooth sauce, it looks like, but it's not a watery sauce. So that's kind of interesting. So um, depending on what the flavor is like, it might, there's a multitude of things that it'd probably be good for. So, hmm. Now I definitely smell the vinegar. I'm a little more aware of the vinegar on the uh, spoon. I still smell the tomatoes. There's a spice there that I cannot make out, and it's it's striking me as a uh, almost like an oregano. It might be an oregano. I cannot tell. It's it's really blowing my mind. It, it, it smells like an oregano. So I'll I'll, I'll call it oregano right now without knowing i honestly i promise you i've not looked at the ingredients i accidentally saw that there was tomato in there because it's the first ingredient and i was looking to see if there was any more information on the bottle but uh yeah i'd say there's maybe oregano but here we go three two one oh, wow that is interesting I love the thickness, um, the thickness of the sauce. Really good texture, really good texture, really good mouthfeel. Um, smooth, really smooth sauce. I'm telling you, that has got to be oregano. That has got to be oregano. I'm telling you, this has got to be oregano. Let's see. I'm probably wrong. Tomatoes, water, cider vinegar, white vinegar, Red peppers, bell, cayenne, Tabasco, etc. Red onion, sweet onion, garlic, salt, sugar, black pepper. I'm wrong. There's no oregano. I do not know what in the, what in the world is that. There's there's something in there that's throwing me. Up. It's got to be some of the bell peppers or something. Maybe they maybe they roasted the bell peppers or something. There's some taste that I just cannot I can't pinpoint that is so crazy I still smell oregano it's crazy um this strikes me as something like it would go good with Italian food um very interesting I wonder where the zombie reindeer aspect came from from this it's definitely not it got any kind of like what I would call wintry or Christmassy tones to it um very good flavor though um Definitely not hot. Did not even register on my heat meter, but obviously I still got a little heat going on uh, from the from the pepper review. But um, yeah, that is interesting. I would imagine, and this is something I I'm actually lactose intolerant, but I don't I don't do this. But something like this, if you had like a grilled cheese sandwich and probably drizzled a little bit of this on a grilled cheese sandwich, <laughs> amazing. I guarantee you, if you're one of those people that like dips, and, and I know the majority of the population, I'm sorry, my nose is still running from that pepper. Good God. Uh, if you're like the majority of the population, though, and you eat uh, grilled cheese with tomato soup, a little of this with your grilled cheese would be spectacular. Um, I could see this working for dipping your fries in, um, maybe an Italian type food. If you wanted a little, I mean, honestly, if you're really not a chili head, a little of this would probably add some spice to that for you. Definitely not um, something as, as a chili head. If I'm going to eat this stuff, I'm going to put a little extra heat on it, but I don't care. I'll put a little powder in it and, and not change the flavor too much and uh, get the get the heat that I want. I honestly, this would be something that I would consider trying on a, on a grilled cheese, and I don't really care for tomato soup uh, on, on grilled cheese, but I would, I would consider trying it on that um, just because the flavors are, are really good. I'm, I'm telling you, man, I taste oregano. I don't know why it's not there, but it, it, I taste it. Red onion. The red onion should have a sweetness. The sweet onion, obviously sweetness. Garlic. Salt, sugar, black pepper. I mean, these are very basic ingredients, which I actually love. I love that they're keeping it basic. They're keeping it simple. It's nothing nothing over the top. Um, the vinegar flavor in this was not uh, overpowering to me. Um, 
it was subtle. It was there. Um, that was nice. For not having any thickening agents in this, this was actually pretty darn thick. So whatever they did, they just didn't over-process things. Um, it, it just, to me, it just seems like they took a sauce and they didn't over-complicate it. They just took something and made it what it is. Um, they got six different sauces, at least that I know of, and varying heat levels. This is the lowest on their heat scale, so uh, I am excited to kind of walk the uh, the uh, stairs of this and, and get to the top and see what, what they got. Um, I believe they got their Reaper listed as not as hot as their Scorpion. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I've had some, some Scorpions that I feel like are hotter than some Reapers, though, so maybe the way they they concocted that it uh it turned out that the scorpion sauce is a little hotter than the uh, reaper sauce so definitely excited the next one on the list for me will be the uh lemon drop and that sounds exciting too i definitely uh i definitely like uh lemon type sauces uh, you know the funny thing is, is i'm not a fan of like sour foods but the, the sauces that I've had that have like lemon type stuff, I freaking love them. So I'm really excited to try this. I, I really, I would assume, I don't want to look at the ingredients. I would assume by saying lemon drop, there's, there's a pepper out there called the ahi lemon drop. I would assume that that pepper could quite possibly be in there. I'm not 100% sure. Again, go check them out, www.premiersauces.com. Um... I will put a link in the description. Again, go hit the subscribe button for me. Next to that is the notification bell. Uh, I'll also uh, put some links in for some friends of the show that do do uh, reviews as well. Um, but yeah, definitely check these guys out. Um, good friends of mine. Rob, Rob's been a friend of mine for a while. And uh, like I said, I met up with him in Chicago uh, once already and then met up with him just this last weekend. Uh, had a great time with him. Um, just good friends of the Sasquatch, you know, so, uh, and it's really cool that they hooked me up with a, a carrying thing for my sauces. I'd, that's spectacular. It's awesome. That's something that I would have liked to have eventually bought or made for myself, but Rob was awesome and he made it for me. So I'm sure throughout the course of this, I'm going to thank him a million more times because it's awesome. And, and I promise it will be sitting somewhere up here eventually, uh, showcased. Um, I have to rearrange this whole area anyways here soon, but uh, yeah. I really appreciate it, Rob. Uh, it was great hanging out with you. Um, Till next time, you like Squatch.